Hey, what's up, guys? It's CDT5 with September Taco of the Month, Sino. How are you doing, man? I'm doing all right. I got some, like, a lot of good news for me going on in personal life, but I mean, yeah, I'm doing good. And it never stops, does it? Nope. <laughs> yeah, I feel you on that 100%. So, we're doing this video today because Sino is the September Taco of the Month. And it's just me and him today, no vinyl, no Vegas, no vault. So it's going to be so much more relaxed because I'm just going to troll on them for a couple seconds because they trolled on me a few months ago and they earned it. But no, I, I digress, I digress. So, what did you Yeah. How long have you been with uh, Brown Stalkers? Uh, that's a great question. I don't know exactly. I found out through you guys when I was scrolling on Twitch, looking for some like league to join. And when I found out you guys were streaming, I'm like, hey, I want to join now. So I met it on and I, you guys verified me and all that stuff. And here I am now. I don't remember when it was. Right on, right on. Well, I know it's been plenty exciting because we get to see these Genji blades on a regular basis. It's pretty, oh. <laughs> yeah. pretty ridiculous, yeah. man. Uh, I mean, hey, a lot of a lot of people say that I'm cheating. However, I do not cheat. <laughs> All right, you heard it here first. He doesn't cheat. He just rolls. I'm, I'm, only, uh, I'm only on flat on PC. Okay, on console is a different story. <laughs> I, have a, I have I have I have a love hate relationship for console right now. So. You have a love-hate relationship with console. Are you um, higher or lower? I am higher on console, but due to meta changes and due to people in playing the game, I go from masters to diamond, masters again to diamond. I'm like, what? 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 What, what rank am I really? Oh, we're also in a it's a super healthy game that everybody <laughs> works together as a team. And it's all fun, and nobody ever rages at each other for any reason, right? Yeah, pretty much. Well, it depends on the player themselves. I mean, I don't really hate on people if they're playing bad. If they're trying their best, that's all I really care about. Um, right now, I don't really care because I've been so busy outside of gaming. I've been, I haven't played at all in a month, and I've been just so focused on other things. But if I play with people and you're bad, it doesn't matter to me as long as you're trying your best, you know. That's all I care about. You know, if you're having fun, that's great. I gotcha. So, let's get into your brain a little bit. Say, you look at Overwatch, and you're like, man, I can't do this again. <laughs> what else do you... <laughs> what, <laughs> what else do you play? And what do you like to play? And what, what type of... If we run into you on a different game, what would we expect? seeing a lot of final fantasy i am i've been a final fantasy fan ever since my dad introduced it to me um i play a lot of final fantasy 14 that's the main game i'm been streaming since overwatch one has been uh, like diminishing for me as a like a like a main game from now until overwatch 2 comes out um so i get really bored so final fantasy has got me addicted to it i am a very hardcore player when it comes to that game um another game besides final fantasy would be either uh, like a variety, it could be Valorant, Geometry Dash, um, anything really. I, I play anything. My, Minecraft, I have a bunch of people that I play with. Um, but, you know, I haven't gamed in a while, so right now it's just Final Fantasy. It's, all, it's always in my mind. I'm like, do I need to do this? Just, I need to sell some things. Just dealing with life stuff? Yeah, I, I, finally, did, I, fin I finally started driving again today, and uh, I'm going to... I. Since I've already finished school, I'm not allowed to go to school events. And let's just say someone asked me to go to homecoming with them. I'm like, you want a freaking Overwatch player to go to homecoming with you? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, yeah that's, that's basically why I haven't been playing. I've been just so bored. You have not been playing because you're bored? Board Overwatch yeah, or just games in general? Games in general. Like, I know once I get back, I'm going to be playing so much games. It's just like, I work two jobs now, so I, I'm really busy. So. Yeah, it's fair. And you get, uh, I mean, there's more than life than games, obviously. Mm -hmm. So, responsibilities, other exciting things. I hear you on that. 
But take a snapshot of that gaming experience. What what do you look back on and get really excited about? Like, oh lord. Do you have a particular favorite memory gaming wise? <laughs> God, there's so many. Uh, I guess I would have to be competing. That's what I really miss the most. Um, I used to be a captain. Well, technically, I'm still captain of a team. However, we're just very been inactive with competing. Um, I look back on my old like competing days. I look back at my uh, tournament runs and all that stuff, and I'm like, I miss doing that. I miss popping off. I miss communicating with my team. You know, I miss having fun with them. Um, and you know, it's just like. I have that certain competitive drive. I get it from like, a lot my mom, apparently, because she had she told me, listen, you're very competitive when it comes to your siblings. I'm like, I know. Um, so I guess it's just competing mainly. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like making content. I like making just stupid videos, but it's always been competing. Like, I just want to be really, like, I just want to be a professional. Player. That's always been my dream for since ever since I found out about competing, so. Yeah, I think it's completely legit. You could definitely make a career out of competing and you don't necessarily have to be like world's number one at whatever but yeah it, it's definitely become a reality do you compete in anything like what do you compete in obviously overwatch because you got introduced to the league but is there anything else that you'd be super pumped about competing in whether it be video game or athletics or anything um super smash brothers you know that's the that's the game i used to play a lot um i've been when quarantine hit back in 2020 i was competing a lot in super smash brothers and i realized damn i suck at the video game <laughs> <laughs> so i took my entire quarantine time to get better and better and eventually i started getting better and better at competing in that game however due to freshman year of my high school year um, I started getting finger pains and I had to force myself to stop competing back in December of 2021. Um, so I literally did not play Super Smash Brothers at all during that time period until uh, recently my last tournament was a local tournament um, where I live. And then before that one was Wasabi Con. And I think it was after Wasabi Con. Yeah, after Wasabi Con, where I went to this tournament, they were hosting a tournament. I think it was MVD. No, not MVD. Uh, MVG, sorry. Uh, was hosting the tournament and doing all that stuff. It was just a small tournament. And then I did you guys' tournament, which is I, apparently the second tournament, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. Got my ass kicked by Saiyan. <laughs> Man, I saw that. I saw the clips of Saiyan. It was... Dude's a monster. He's a monster. I think he's the only person I really fear in Bronze Tacos when it comes to Super Smash Brothers. He's the only person who I've never gotten to figure out. I mean, he's, t he's coached me before, but now... Fair. He comes if with I'm, the smoke. Talking, he does. If we're talking about now, if you're going to compare me and him against his main uh, Mario, he's going to destroy me 100%. Um, but if it's against anything else and I'm like completely focused on destroying him, then it's going to be always him. But it was going to be closer than usual because I haven't really pl played or practiced in a while and I stopped doing tournaments because I work on weekends. Fair. Fair. Man, like, all sorts of side fighters i've tried street fighter i've tried more combat i've tried injustice i've tried uh smash there's just it's a different type of psychology yeah and it's definitely not one i figured out but yeah uh definitely fighting games <laughs> different go ahead, beast go ahead, go ahead. different beast yeah yeah. I, I in my opinion, fighting games are the hardest games to play, in my opinion. Um I played Mortal Kombat X and Eleven. I still love X by the way. Um, <laughs> um and I played FPS. When I when I first played FPS, I was like, damn, this game is really hard because I was really young. As I got older, I traversed into other types of games like strategy, FPS, uh platforms, um whatchamacallit, fighting games. And I learned to realize that fighting games were the hardest games yeah. I've ever played. Like, it took me just th like it took me three months just to learn the basics of one character in Mortal Kombat X, and he's my main too. And it took me another six months to actually master that character to my full potential. So, 
Yeah, it's crazy. Like, to me, the order goes fighting games, then RTSs, then MOBAs, then FPS, as far as difficulty goes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess you could put rhythm games up there because there a lot of people are crazy. Dude, like Beat Saber. I'm not. A, I'm not. All right. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not talking about Beat Saber. I'm talking about Guitar Hero. Have you seen those? Those guys are. Fingers. Oh yeah, yeah. It's wild. I'm not yeah. even going to go down that rabbit hole because it is a legit <laughs> rabbit hole. I tried. It's not that easy. But uh, <laughs> all right. So, with your time with. Uh, BT, what what have you enjoyed most about being here with us? Um, uh, mainly watching the Overwatch games that you guys do. I mean, I haven't been able to watch them recently, but like when I watch them, it was pretty fun. And doing tournament with uh, the Super Smash Brothers because it's very small, and I really enjoyed that. Um, another thing is the like the, you know the different like tournaments like versus we guys have that you guys do. Like the corn versus beans. Sadly, I lost that freaking corn. <laughs> I was so salty too. I'm like, why did you guys take me out? I was on DPS popping off. We won because I was on DPS. They put me on tank. We instant lose. No shame to those guys, but like, come on, man. You see me on DPS? Put me there. <laughs> no salt to them though. I'm not. I'm not being like rude to them or anything. They're all cool people. Um, nah, just like, eh. just some banter. I, I got you. On, yeah. <laughs> Um, the goats thing. I haven't really been able to participate in the goats, um, but I really enjoy you guys doing that since it is the last month of Overwatch One. Um, I personally played goats back when it was at its peak as a Genji main, and that's actually when I first hit masters. And I'm gonna tell you, it was torture. <laughs> you know, <laughs> screaming against as, screaming against goats as a Genji main isn't easy because you have to have an Ana on your team. That's it. Otherwise, you're not gonna win. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Goats was my one of my favorite eras of Overwatch. I know that's an unpopular opinion, but just the Oh no, I agree with you actually. You definitely like it was one of those it was the slowest grinding game ever, unless you did not know what you were doing and then you got rolled the entire time. Yeah. So Yeah, go goats made goats made us smarter people. As as Super once said Goats made you smarter. Legit. 100% legit. Because you definitely knew if you didn't know what you were doing. Yeah. Because Goats was basically, it took no skill, only brain. And then we got rid of that, and now we have Jotes. <laughs> yeah. Well. Sad times. Sad, but great times. <laughs> But, all right, so we are showing your, I'm guessing, is this a Twitch clip or a YouTube clip? Uh, depends. What are we looking at? We are looking at your montage of some yes. of the most ridiculous stuff you've done. <laughs> so a majority of them come from YouTube or like the old ones come from YouTube. Um, the more recent ones are from Twitch. Uh, I stream pretty frequently when I was very active, but I stopped until last month or something like that. Um, but majority of them are from Twitch. Uh, but like the recent ones are Twitch, old ones are from YouTube. Um, I extended the montage as long as I can with the old clips because uh, some of them I deleted and some I just found in my, in my storage. I'm like, hey, put it in there. Right on, right on. Do you have... Uh, just out loud, so everybody who's watching can can type it up if they want to. What is your Twitch and YouTube handle? My Twitch handle is twitch.tv slash sino underscore OW. And for YouTube, because YouTube algorithm sucks, you have to search it up under xyron23, which is xyron23. -E 23. But it's sino... But because YouTube algorithm sucks, there's a channel bigger than mine that I never knew existed named Sino. <laughs> bro, bro. All right, all right. Pause. Just a quick second. It's Go si ahead. It's Sino. So I've been Sino, mispronouncing yeah. it this <laughs> entire funny. time. And you didn't. Everyone, listen. Hey, listen, listen, listen. I'm going to tell you this right now. Times I've heard people mispronounce my name. The first time I've heard it, it was Sino. 
So Sino wasn't that bad. It was Sino that was a horrible one. But you gotta well, let me good. know. But at the same time, does it look like I care <laughs> anymore? Yeah, like, dude, it's Sino. <laughs> That's all it took. All right, <laughs> I'm tilting. Nah, I'm just I'm putting in content for you. No, no, no. Listen, listen. I'm putting. I'm giving you content right now. That is that is my main purpose. You. That is generous content, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I have a tiny human next to me. Where did you come from? He came from space. Most definitely did not. Come from space, <laughs> but that is a whole other conversation that will not will not survive the YouTube algorithm. So we're gonna call it there. <laughs> <laughs> man sino thank you so much for joining us congratulations on september taco of the month obviously Hope you guys long enough <laughs> check out his stuff check out brown's tacos we have a blast like this all the time when there is not leak drama which i'm not i'm not even gonna get into that but I don't even know what's going on. I'm just here. <laughs> but you guys have a great rest of the September, and we'll catch you on the next one.